Hi there, and welcome to the latest forecast from the Met Office. A lot of showers to talk about in this forecast, even some longer spells of rain, but I will talk about some sunny spells in addition to all of that. Low pressure at the moment, really dominating the UK's weather. It's going to remain with us for the next few days. Around that low, we've got some outbreaks of prolonged rain for the north of Scotland, a keen breeze here. And a southwesterly bringing further outbreaks of, at times, prolonged rain into Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest through the night. Elsewhere, the daytime showers will tend to fade, leading to plenty of clear spells, for example, through the Midlands, southeast England, parts of the far north of England, sun, central Scotland, where we do get the clear spells. Temperatures dipping to 7 or 8 Celsius, but where we've got the cloud, the breeze, the outbreaks of rain, 10 or 11 Celsius first thing and very mixed conditions across the UK Saturday morning. Yeah, we've got some heavy rain for Northern Ireland, parts of Wales and the southwest. Persistent rain for the Northern Isles. Elsewhere, some brighter conditions during the morning, but quickly the clouds will bubble up and we'll see widely showers breaking out. Where we've got longer spells of rain, some of that will break up into showers. So really it's a case of sunny spells and showers. Don't take the graphics too literally. Just about anywhere could get wet, but just about anywhere could also see some sunshine and the best chance of seeing some sunny spells breaking through the cloud. Southern and eastern parts of England, for example, western Scotland, Northern Ireland. And where the sun does come through, not feeling too unpleasant. We've lost the Arctic winds, so certainly in the east it's going to be less cold. 16 or 17 Celsius, however, below average for the time of year. And of course, where we've got the gusty wind in the southwest and near any showers, it is going to feel cool. The showers in some places could be lively enough for some thunderstorms and some hail, particularly through central parts of the UK. And these showers will continue into Saturday evening for a time. But eventually the daytime warmth that kicks off the showers will tend to fade away. So a greater chance of some clear spells overnight. Although for parts of Scotland, there will be areas of more persistent rain tending to sink southwards, perhaps affecting Northern Ireland by the start of Sunday. With the cloudier skies further north, 10 or 11 Celsius, and towards the south, a bit more of a breeze as well, 10 to 12 Celsius, but in sheltered rural spots, 8 or 9 Celsius possible first thing. Here's the low. It remains with us on Sunday. Occluded fronts uh, tending to wrap themselves around it to bring some more persistent cloud and rain across northern areas on Sunday. But by Monday, actually, things are starting to turn a bit drier, particularly across southern parts. Now, Sunday, I wouldn't take the position of this rain too literally. There's a lot of uncertainty about it. It originates on Friday afternoon over parts of Germany and uh, Denmark, the low countries. But either way, it's going to be tending to sink south, turn to showers by Sunday afternoon, and then it's another case of sunny spells and showers. Perhaps a better chance of more prolonged sunny spells in southern and eventually northern parts of the UK. But either way, it is a case of sunny spells and showers and temperatures still a little below par for the time of year, but recovering ever so slowly towards average following a cold start to June. Start of next week sees a better chance of fewer showers and longer spells of sunshine, and we'll keep you updated right here on our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.